All right, so we're going to use the distributive property, and then we're going to combine our like terms. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 3x is positive 6x. Then we have this negative 5x plus 1. We'll combine our like terms. 5x and neg or sorry, 6x and negative 5x leaves us with x. And then we have negative 12 and positive 1 leaves us with negative 11. And this one says evaluate the expression. Now we could apply the distributive property, but because these are like terms inside of the parentheses, we can add those first and then multiply. So 59 and 1 third plus 2 thirds gives us 60 inside the parentheses. 59 and 1 third plus 2 thirds is 60 here as well. Then 5 times 60 is 300. And negative 2 times 60 is negative 120. So when I subtract 120 from 300, I'm left with 180. So you can see they also thought of this piece as 60. But they grouped the 5 and the negative 2 here together, which gave them 3. And 3 times 160 is 180. So they approached it a different way, but still arrived at the same answer. And then these ones, they multiplied like the distributed for property 5 times 59 and 1 third, and then 5 times 2 thirds. And so they ended up with all these fraction pieces, which they combined together and still ended up with 180. So you can approach this problem from various methods, but the answer will be 180. In your book, you have some different stations to go through. I don't have these on the slide, so I'm going to pull up the um, student workbook edition to go through some of the key questions from those slides or from those stations. All right. So like I said, we're not going to do all the problems. We're going to start with 2a using the distributive property and then combining. So we have 8 times 2x would be 16x. 8 times positive y is positive 8y. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times y is negative 5y. And now we will combine our like terms. I have 16x and negative 10x leaves us with 6x. 8y and negative 5y would be positive 3y. Like I said, we're not doing all of them. You can try a different strategy for b and answer c on your own if you would like to. Question three. Here we are going to distribute that six in and the negative five in as well. Six times two x is twelve x. Six times six is thirty six. Negative five times x is negative five x. And negative five times three is negative fifteen. Combining our like terms here, we have twelve x and negative five x would give us. 8x, is that right? No, 7x. And then we have 36 and negative 15, which would leave us with 21. Skipping down to station 2. We have Eve orders seven goodie bags for children in her neighborhood. Each goodie bag contains six, pen six stickers, two pencils, and three erasers. 
and buying a goodie bag cost two fifty less than buying the items separately. So we had six stickers. We had two pencils. and three erasers and they saved 250 and they were creating seven goodie bags so this is for one goodie bag multiplied by seven and then if we distribute that seven that'll tell us how much for all goodie bags so six times seven is 42 stickers seven times two is 14 pencils seven times three would be 21 erasers then we can do 250 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus 3 more is 17. We have one decimal spot here. So minus 1750. So this one is the total for all seven goodie bags. In problem five, we're gonna factor out 1.2. To get negative 1.2x, we would no need to multiply by negative x. To get negative 2.4, we would need to multiply 1.2 by negative 2 with the y. And 1.2 times 3 would give us 3.6. In number 6, we're going to factor out 2 fifths. So we still have x times y multiplied in there. 2 times 3 would give us 6, so this is 3y. 2 times 2 would give us 4, but we have that negative there, so negative 2 goes there. On number 7, the side length of a square is 2 thirds g plus 1. Use the information to complete parts a and b. Write an expression to represent the perimeter of a square. Well, a square has four sides that are all the same. So that's four sides that are two-thirds g plus one. For part b, we're going to explain our reasoning using a picture here. So instead of a square if one of the side lengths one pair of opposite sides is doubled then it's going to turn into a rectangle so the short side still remains two-thirds g plus one but then the longer sides are doubled so two times two-thirds g plus one So we can write an expression to represent the perimeter by adding up all of these sides. Well, here I have two sets of two-thirds g. This would make four sets, five, and six sets of two-thirds g plus one. Because we've added an extra for two of the side lengths. So six would be four plus one extra here and one extra here. You could also think of this as 4 thirds g plus 2. So 4 thirds, 8 thirds, 
10 thirds, 12 thirds. And if we did six times two, that would give us 12. We would have two, four, five, six, and six times one is six. For this last station or these last two problems, we have some error analysis, meaning we're looking for whether they are equivalent expressions, and if not, why or where did they make their mistake? So here, it looks like they have 12, 30, and 6, which would be 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 5 is 30, and 6 times 1 is 6. But we can't just subtract 10 minus 4. Because that ignores the orders of operations. Multiplication comes before addition and subtraction in our order of operations. So what should end up happening is this negative 4 gets multiplied first. Then we can combine our things. So it would look something like this. 10. And then negative 4 times 2 would be negative 8x. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20y. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then we would combine our like terms. So we still have negative 8x, positive 20y, but then 10 and negative 4 would make 6. So instead of 12x, we have negative 8x. Instead of negative 30y, we have positive 20y. So there are some discrepancies there because they didn't follow the order of operations. Are these equivalent? Well, let's see. If we distribute that negative, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3x. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Then we have that plus 4x at the end. So if we combine our like terms, negative 3 and positive 4 would make a single x. And we still have that negative 2 there. This one, if we distribute that negative in, we still have that 4x out front. Then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And, ne or sorry, and negative times positive 2 is negative 2. Combine our like terms. And we have that they are equivalent. And we can tell by the distributive property and combining terms. Combine, combining, 